A very pleasant morning to my Word to the Nation family. There are two issues that I'd love to address this morning before going into my presentation. One is that most of you might be aware that my WhatsApp account from the number 8767827572 was hacked into by unscrupulous persons two Sundays ago who scammed my contacts by requesting favors and asking for money. The messages you might have received did not come from me, it actually came from the scammers. I would want you all to be aware that you have to be extremely prudent in a time like this when the scammers have become very prevalent and are doing so much to really rob us of our resources. Please do not respond to any request from even names and contacts that you you know unless you can verify by voice whether a call or a voice note that that's the person you're dealing with. The scammers have gotten so sophisticated that if you're not on your guard, they can fool you. So please be on the lookout. Never resend any code that is sent to you. Once a code is sent to you, it is for your um, personal use. And if they come from scammers, they ought not to. If you send them back, they will get into your account and scam your contact. So please be aware. My next concern is that the Word to the Nation broadcast has been on air for almost five years. Over this time, I have had volunteer assisting in producing this program on a weekly basis. I am not asking for any financial contribution, really. But the truth is, if the channel is recognized by YouTube, I will receive a small income for which I could compensate the volunteers. What is happening now with the volunteer is unsustainable. The fact of the matter is that over these almost five years, I have been unable to have a thousand subscribers within a 12 month period and 4,000 watch hours within that time, which is the requirement for recognition from YouTube. If I can't get to that level in five years, it doesn't make much sense. And so I am on the verge of thinking of ending this broadcast at the five-year period. From the analytics, I realize that the average person does not watch all of the video. The average watch time is from six to eight minutes, between six and eight minutes. And therefore, and also 
I am at about 800 subscribers and I've not been able to get to a thousand subscribers within a 12 month period and so there are many persons who have been watching but have not subscribed and many persons have not been watching all of the content and um, have not been encouraging others to watch so I'm at a very um, crucial point where I might have to you know discontinue this program but I'm just making you aware of where things are at and um, if you can assist in any way in increasing the subscriptions and the watch time inviting other persons on then it would be helpful thank you for your attention to these concerns just to let you know that I have been able to fully recover my WhatsApp account and things are now back to normal. Thank you. The theme of my presentation this morning is praying for a breakthrough, how to get results. Have you ever felt stuck in life facing a mountain that seemed impossible to climb? Maybe you're wrestling with financial struggles, health issues, relationship problems, or spiritual stagnation. In these moments, we long for a breakthrough, a divine intervention that brings change. The good news is that God is a God of breakthroughs. But how can we pray effectively to experience this transformation Today I want to share with you how to pray for a breakthrough and get results. I also established three points. My first point that we should pray with persistence and faith. Our first step in breakthrough prayer is persistence. Too often we pray once or twice and give up if we don't see immediate results but jesus taught us to be persistent in prayer in luke 18 1 to 8 jesus tells the parable of the persistent widow who kept coming to the unjust judge until he granted her request jesus wasn't saying that god is like the unjust judge but rather that if persistence could move an unjust man, how much more will it move our loving Father in heaven? Persistent prayer shows that we trust God's timing and His power. Faith is key to breakthrough. As it says in James 1, 6 and 7, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blowing and tossed by the wind that person should not expect to receive anything from the lord practical example think of daniel who prayed and fasted for 21 days before receiving his answer daniel 10 12 and 13. he didn't give up and neither should we let your persistence demonstrate your faith my second point align your prayers with god's will effective breakthrough prayers isn't just about asking for what you want it's about seeking god's will when we align our prayers with god's purpose we step into his divine flow making our prayers more powerful. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 NIV says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, 
he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. God's will is revealed in his word. So pray the promises of scripture over your situation. If you're praying for healing, declare the truth of Isaiah 53, 5 that says, by his stripes we are healed. If you're praying for provision, stand on Philippians 4, 19, which says, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Practical example, Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane gave us the ultimate example of aligning prayers with God's will. Though he desired the cup of suffering to pass, he prayed, yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22, 42. My third point, pray with expectation and gratitude. Breakthrough prayers require expectation. When we pray, we must expect that God hears us and will respond in his perfect way. Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. This doesn't mean God is a genie granting every wish. Instead, it means we trust his goodness and power to work on our behalf. Expectation flows from knowing God's character. Additionally, gratitude is a key that unlocks breakthroughs. Philippians 4, 6 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Practical example. The story of Paul and Silas in Acts 16, 25 and 26 shows the power of expectation and gratitude. Despite being in prison, they prayed and sang hymns to God and the result was a miraculous earthquake that set them free. They did not wait for the breakthrough to worship. They praised God in advance. Today, if you're seeking a breakthrough in your life, commit to praying persistently, aligning your prayers with God's will, and praying with expectation and gratitude. Maybe you've been on the verge of giving up, but I urge you to hold on. God is faithful, and He desires to give good gifts to His children. Start this week by setting aside dedicated time for breakthrough prayers. Find scriptures that align with your needs and pray them boldly before the throne of God. If you have been praying without expectation, shift your mindset. Begin thanking God now for what he is going to do. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for a Word to the Nation broadcast, B238. This is your brother and friend, Carol Wilson, saying, Have a happy Sabbath, a fantastic day, and may the God of heaven bless you real good. Peace and love to you all.